Whoever the salesman is for the pumpkin spice industry is doing a hell of a job. It's making its way into every food and drink product, it seems, from your Starbucks PSL to Chex Mix to White Claws. Nothing seems to be off limits. And why should cocktails be any different? So today we're going to learn what the hell pumpkin spice is, make a delicious pumpkin spice syrup, and use it in three tasty drinks. So as I mentioned, we're going to be delivering that pumpkin spice flavor through a delicious, simple syrup. So we're going to start with a saucepan and adding some sugar to that. Here I'm using demerara sugar, but you could also use raw cane sugar or even brown sugar. I'm weighing out 350 grams here, but you could also do about a cup and a half. And to that, we're going to add equal parts filtered water by weight, so another 350 grams or about another cup and a half. Give that a quick stir, and then we're going to bring it to a light boil. And to get our pumpkin flavor, we're going to use some pumpkin puree. Now, you could puree a fresh pumpkin, but it's much easier from a can, Ooh, in theory. We're going to scoop out about one-fourth cup of our pumpkin puree. This would come out to about 65 grams. And so now that we've got our pumpkin syrup, let's turn this into a spicy boy. We're going to start with one teaspoon or about two grams of ground cloves. To give this a little kick, we're gonna do a teaspoon and a half or about two grams of ground ginger. And you gotta have a little nutmeg. I always try to go fresh ground with my nutmeg and we're shooting for about a half teaspoon or one gram. And last, we need some cinnamon. I like to throw about four cinnamon sticks in here, but alternatively, you could use about one teaspoon or three grams of ground cinnamon. Stir until you feel yourself becoming a total basic b Then we're gonna simmer it for 10 minutes, then let it cool for about 20 minutes before we strain it through a cheesecloth or a nut milk bag. No comments, please. We're gonna do our best to filter out all the tiny spice granules. You could also run this through a coffee filter. Bottle it, cap it, and you should end up with about 14 ounces or 400 mils of pumpkin spice syrup. Put it in the fridge, it should last for about three weeks. And if you add a touch of vodka, it helps preserve it even more. All right, let's put this to work. Our first cocktail is gonna involve three-fourths of an ounce, or about 22 mils, into a shaker glass. Next, we're gonna balance that out with another three-fourths of an ounce, or 22 mils, of fresh lemon juice. And this syrup is gonna pair best with darker spirits, and so we're gonna use two ounces, or 60 mils, of rye. Next, we're gonna shake that with ice for about 15 seconds to chill and dilute it. And astute viewers will recognize we're basically building a pumpkin spice whiskey sour. When trying out a specialty syrup like this, I find it's best to keep the cocktails relatively simple to showcase the flavors of your specialty ingredient. So let's see how this works in a pretty standard sour template. Just grab a chilled coupe glass and we're gonna double strain it in. And look at the color on this drink. Doesn't it make you just wanna go put on a flannel and jump in a pile of leaves? But let's see if this thing is any good. Our pumpkin spice whiskey sour. Cheers. And wow, that is surprisingly delicious. You might think this would work best in a spirit forward cocktail, but actually the flavors come through really well. And a spicy rye is an excellent spirit to pair this with. Now, it wouldn't be a pumpkin spice video without throwing a coffee cocktail in here. Let's see how this works in a typical Irish coffee. I'm gonna make a slight variation of the recipe they use at the Dead Rabbit in New York City. And since coffee is the primary ingredient in this drink, we wanna make sure we use a nice blend. I'm gonna just wet a filter here, grind up some fresh coffee, and do a pour over. Put that aside, and let's build the rest of the drink directly in the glass. We'll start with our pumpkin spice syrup. We're gonna do three-fourths of an ounce, or 22 mils, but you could dial this up and down depending on the sweetness you prefer. Next, we need our Irish whiskey, and I'm sure I'm gonna get skewered in the comments for using a 12-year red breast here, but if you wanna use just a JMO, go for it. One and a half ounces, or 45 mils. Top that off with your fresh coffee. We're shooting for about four ounces, or 120 mils. Give that a quick little stir. And this is one of my favorite parts of the Irish coffee, making some fresh whipped cream using our same shaker tin. Just pour in a couple ounces of heavy whipping cream and put together your shaker as if you're gonna shake a cocktail. And here you're just literally whipping air into it to get it to the consistency that you want. And that's really the only tough part here. You want it thickened up, but not so thick that you can't just free pour it over the back of a spoon on top. In my opinion, it should look something like this. And pouring it over the back of a spoon should create a nice, dense layer right on the top of the glass. And of course, we gotta finish with just a little bit of fresh nutmeg to take a microplane and grate some over the top. Okay, our answer to the PSL, our pumpkin spice Irish coffee. And hot damn, that is tasty. The warming spices of the syrup definitely come through. I love that little kick you get from the ginger, and man, that cream on top is just perfect. This is dangerously sippable. 
All right, for our third and final cocktail, we're gonna switch up the spirit category here and go with a rum, and we're gonna try a spirit forward drink instead. We're gonna do something like a pumpkin spice rum old fashioned with about a quarter ounce or seven mils of pumpkin spice syrup into a mixing glass. And for our rum, I'm using this Hamilton Demerara, which is a mix of pot still and continuous still rums. I wanted something with a bit of character, but not too much funk, like a pure pot still that would overpower the flavor of the syrup. So we're doing two ounces or 60 mils. And instead of Angostura, I'm gonna use these aromatic bitters from Bitter Truth. Hit that with two dashes into the mixing glass. Next, add a bit of ice and swirl it around as if you're spinning around in a pumpkin patch wearing your North Face jacket and Ugg boots. And because I'm feeling fancy, we're gonna add this big clear ice sphere to a rocks glass as we pour our pumpkin spice old fashioned in slow motion. I'll just give you a minute alone here. And we're back. Now what I'm very slowly realizing here is that using a clear ice ball was a bit of a waste since this drink is so dense, but no time for regrets because we've got to get our garnish ready. I'm just gonna peel a long orange peel and then we're just going to clean this up a bit using our knife, cutting off each edge to straighten it out. And then I'll just cut the ends at a bit of an angle like this and that'll give it a nice little shape. Then we'll just express the oils over the top, twist it over the glass and drop it in. Okay, our pumpkin spice rum old fashioned. I got a good feeling about this one and yeah, nailed it. That dark rum and the pumpkin spice syrup play off each other so well. This is actually the drink where you probably get the most pumpkin flavor. It's really fantastic. I recommend you try all three of these. Okay, I got a bonus tip for you guys. When you're looking at bar equipment, don't sleep on the chef's knife. I've been on the hunt for a premium knife at a good price and I finally found it. And so I'm thrilled to be partnered with Misen for this video. I use the Misen chef's knife all the time, from slicing fruits and vegetables in the bar to dicing an onion for dinner. It's super sharp, has a great weight, and an elegant design. And when you're slinging drinks at home, you gotta have that go-to knife you can use for everything. And I always find myself coming back to the Misen. In fact, I replace all my knives with their five-piece set, which includes the chef's knife, serrated knife, paring knife, utility knife, and a Sentoku knife with a flatter blade edge all made from high-grade stainless steel at a great price. And right now you can go to misen.com slash cocktail chemistry for 20% off your first order. That's M-I-S-E-N.com slash cocktail chemistry for 20% off your first order. Hey, thanks for watching y'all. I've got a bunch of other cocktails that are great for fall and winter weather, including this Thanks Teeny from How I Met Your Mother. And if you're enjoying this series and you have the means to do so, consider making a small pledge through Patreon. And if you've made it this far in the video, I sincerely appreciate you helping out the algorithm. Cheers.